This is the Helpful Lock Picker here, and welcome back to my Feature Channel of the Week. My Feature Channel of the Week is a video series that I'm doing that's helping feature some of the smaller channels. A lot of the times when you search for a smaller channel, the search algorithm will start to show other channels even if you search the smaller channel's name verbatim. I want to start celebrating some of these smaller channels and get them some of the recognition that they deserve. There are so many cool smaller channels out there that a lot of people have never heard of, and I'd like to do my part and be able to spread some of the awareness of them. The channel that I'd like to feature today is a really cool channel. It's a relatively new channel, and it is Albert Lebel. At this time, his channel's just under 100 subscribers, but it's growing every day. He's a really nice guy who loves to make and pick challenge locks, and who's always frequently making new videos. What I have done today is put together a highlight reel of his channel, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Hello friends far and wide, it's Albert. Albert Lovell is a guy who takes a lot of time and passion when he's making his challenge locks. He even uses AutoCAD to help draft up his locks and try to see how each pen design is going to be affected while picking. Hello everybody, uh, it's Albert here. Um, I just kind of wanted to share a little bit uh, about what I do for a living, which is um, I'm a drafter, so I use AutoCAD, and this is AutoCAD 2017. And um, on my off time, I'll draw up something like this, a cutaway lock, and I will use it to um, see what kind of pins uh, work best on a, you know, making a challenge lock. See what kind of pins will get stuck as you rotate the core trying to pick it. And uh, this is kind of how I come up with some of the designs for some of my pins. And I just wanted to share that. So thanks for watching. The very first challenge lock that Albert ever made, he sent over to Bosnian Bill. It put up a really great fight, and it even was awarded the title of a Whipped It video. Albert was able to receive the prized pack lock from being able to whip Bosnian Bill. He makes one really mean challenge lock. Got home from today, today and uh, had a uh, package at the front door. It was that uh, first challenge lock I ever made that I sent off to uh, Bosnian Bill in the lock lab. And uh, I actually got a uh, whipped it from Bill because he couldn't open it, which is freaking awesome. <laughs> uh, made me happy. Um, and of course, you know, uh, at least for right now, if you get a whipped it, you get one of these. Um, also in the box, he threw in some... Uh, some really cool pins, a little bag of kind of uh, odds and ends pins, uh, some really like needle-like ones, and uh, some I think they're called like Asa pins, if I remember right, a couple spools, just some really cool stuff that'll probably end up in some future challenge locks. Any hoodles, I figured I'd get to picking on this uh, for the second time. I had a fail on the first time, got it to a false set and just roasted it. But uh, I did take the, um, the set screw out, so if I do get it open, I can pop it out real easy so let's try to get into it again without further ado that's the bidding on the key it's not bad not bad at all it does work beautifully obviously because it's brand new so all right let's try to stab this thing with a pick a few times all right binder uh, I think five maybe Got a click. Coming back out. I got a little. I just barely touched. I think it was three and got a click. Okay, got a click. I don't know if that's all it wanted. All right, just touched. Uh, I want to say four. Got another little click. Another one. All right, now everything's kind of springy. I think I'm getting counter rotation right up front, but yep, I was. I think it's set now. I don't know. Hope I didn't just roast it. See if that first one came back down again. Yep. 
There it goes. Beautiful. All right. It's, that's an open. Albert was even able to send me a challenge lock. He sent me a quick set challenge lock because he knows how much I enjoy picking those. And he was able to make one that was difficult enough for me to be willing to throw in the towel. I was able to open up the lock several times off camera, but it kept putting up such a good fight that it would have made much too long of a video to capture. Once again, Albert, congratulations on that. And here's some footage of me struggling with that lock. I've been very close to making this a video where I'm going to just throw on the towel, but let's hope that we don't need to do that. I have gotten it open a couple times off camera, and let's get this lock loaded up in the vise and see what happens. I now have the lock up in the vise, and you can tell I have it open. This is the third time I've opened up this lock. Every time I get this lock open, it takes me quite a long time, and it is too much time to do on video. Albert Lovell did a really good job on this lock, and it has really kept me out. And I'm just going to, at this point, throw in the towel and say, let's just gut this lock, and job well done. I give up on trying to film this. Here is the same lock with the board lock picker picking it much faster. Hey everybody. Uh, so this video we've got a challenge lock pinned up by Albert LaBelle. Helpful lock picker uh, sent it to me. That's my second attempt at this. Uh, this is a pretty annoying lock. Um, and I guess saying it's an annoying lock is actually probably a uh, compliment I guess for a challenge lock. I'm not a huge fan of challenge locks, but uh, yet they help a lock picker keep sending them to me. Hey, look at that. Got it. Whole bunch of tension seemed to be the key. Since Albert started his lock picking channel, he has started to feel rejuvenated with the lock sport community. He really enjoys the community aspect of the lock sport community. He loves conversing with others and talking with people about their ideas. He loves showing off his work in making challenge locks. He is a very skilled lock maker, but he is also a very skilled lock picker. Throughout all of his channel, you can see him picking many different challenge locks that can put up a great fight, and he usually can get through them very quickly. All right, today I'm going to feature this lock that uh, was passed down to me from the lock pick community. Uh, it was from the uh, Sightless Senshi and Lady Lockpicker. Uh, back it says, oh my, how lewd. Here we go again. Alright. It's a fighter, I can tell you that. It's really crunchy. Really really crunchy in there. I think I might need a slightly deeper zip from the sparrows. Yeah, it puts up a puts up a heck of a fight. Got a slight slight counter rotation. I don't know if that was a good idea though. There we go. Yes. Yes. All right. Ah. Okay. Get this sucker gutted uh, on camera here. Close up on the pins. There we go. Beautiful. See, there was two pieces in that uh, number four chamber. Again, uh, thanks to the uh, sightless senshi and lady lock picker. Albert also likes to tinker. This is how he got into lock picking in general. He likes to play around with things and understand how they work. He also likes to show off some of his ideas that might be beneficial to others. 
Here's a few examples of him tinkering and sharing his ideas that were pretty beneficial for others. All right, I wanted to show a couple of things that I came up with. Uh, I like to tinker, that's why I got into lock picking, I guess. But uh, when I'm sitting at the couch in front of the TV and I want to tinker on a couple locks, uh, this pan of ice is beautiful, but it does sit kind of low on my coffee table. So what I did is I came up with a little idea, and I'll show you here. I just take this up. What I did, I actually had a buddy do it for me, reamed out the inside, yeah, of a uh, socket extension. Reamed out the inside here, so this plugs right into it, nice and snug. I guess you could put a set screw in the side if you wanted to, but you don't really need to. When you get it down in there, it fits nice and tight. And then you could put this in here, tighten it back down, and now you got a riser. It works darn well, I gotta tell you. Another thing is, is I came across this cylinder right here that had a removable, removable uh, core in it. So what I did, See, you can just take the cores and slide them in and so on and so forth. And uh, I made myself a little set screw. Just stick in the back, drop one of these in there. A couple of threads on the set screw in the back, little finger screw, boom. It holds them uh, little, I guess they're called kick cylinders, holds them really well. I hope you enjoyed the highlight reel on Albert Level. He's a really great guy, and you really should check out his channel. Right now, his channel's just under 100 subscribers, and if you enjoy his channel, you should consider checking it out and subscribing. Every subscription makes a difference. It will help his channel pop up higher in the search engine and make it become more known. Albert Lovell might just be starting out, but he's a name that you should fear when you're picking a challenge lock. He can make one mean challenge lock, and he is done a really great job with all the locks that he's made. He's also becoming a really skilled picker, and I am looking forward to watching his channel grow and watching his skill set grow down the road. He's a really great guy and a very easy guy to come in contact with and speak with. So if you guys haven't already, please check out Albert Lovell. He's a really good guy, and he has a really fun channel. But either way, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I hope you all have a great day. And if you have anyone else that you'd like to suggest that I do a featured channel of the week on, please leave it in the comments below, or send me an email at helpfullockpicker at gmail.com, and I will try to add it to the list. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.